Match day. And it's not just any match day. It is the day of the match we were all praying for. Bow Badgers versus Bow Bow Badgers in the cup. And it looks like quite a nice day for it. Nice enough to get Cousin Gaz down with the drone. Here he is. Gaz is checking the wind levels for flight. The wind's fine, but the gusts are too high. Okay. <laughs> is that no, the gust separate from the wind? We spotted the badgers. Are they badgers or babadgers? Had a chat with Benj no, from Ball good. Badgers. Yeah, yeah. Some trash talk already. Really? Our team Who's went, trash talking? Well, our team, we prepared for a nice night out the night before. Oh, wow. Well. These guys had a nice early night. They're more professional, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's always when you the game. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Ball Ball Badgers. Will that early night help them beat their big brother badgers? Or was a night out on the town a big morale boost for Ball Badgers? Badgers are nocturnal. Grass check here. I've got to show you this. Look how long the grass is in this area of the pitch. They must have missed this patch when mowing. But all the badgers are going to wear orange bibs for this match as the away team. Well, thankfully the wind and gust levels are just low enough to allow takeoff of the drone. And the ref is here. It's the same ref as last week. He is limbering up. What an honour it is to officiate a match of this magnitude. And with kickoff imminent, let's take a look at today's teams. First of all, the home side Bow Badgers, currently in a relegation battle in Division 3. They line up with Aiden in goal, although he's running late. Tom W at right back, centre backs Tom M and J, and Josh at left back. Tom W and Tom M are best friends and apparently also known as Bacon and Big Tasty, respectively. Make of that what you will. In midfield we have Adam and Rory, with number 3 Quinn in ahead of them. Joe attacking on the right, Benj on the left, and Keir up front. On the bench we have Alistair, Jack, David and Mike, who apparently wears the number 0 shirt. The greatest number of all, in my opinion. Now let's take a look at the Bob Bob Badgers team who currently sit mid-table in Division 4. No shirt numbers for them as their bibs will be covering them up. And the same formation as Bob Badgers, but with Mike in goal. Mason, Gabs, Amar and Tom across the back. Tom, Alfie and Stu in midfield. Alessandro on the right. Will attacking on the left. And their skipper and talisman, Bobby, up front. But I expect them to play in more of a free role. And on the bench for Bobo Badgers is Augusto, Sergio, Franklin and Alex. The ref greets the two captains. I hope he's ready for a bloody and brutal battle between those who once called themselves brothers. A set divided, set in Badger against Bobadja over the matter of different stripes and different spelling. To be or not to be, that is the question. A question that will be resolved today by any means necessary. And by that we mean a penalty shootout if we are level at full time. Well, Bow Badge's keeper Aiden has still not arrived. So their striker Kier has gone in goal. And number 29 Jack has come on from the bench. It will be Bow Badge's to kick off this Hackney and Leighton Junior Cup first round match. Quinnan passes back to Rory who sends it out to Joe, first time ball, looking for Benj here, but Michael collect. Ball badges with the early possession, here's Joe again on the right, where he's tackled by Tom, and is headed forward by Emma, Will flicks it on towards Bobby, but Tom M is there to deal with it. And it'll be Bobby with the throw, he is a long throw specialist, look at that. Keeper punches. Alessandro on the volley, oh. Up into the sky. Bow badges with the throw. Booted up in the air. Donked back. 
Both teams look a bit nervy in these opening exchanges. They need to uh, settle down a bit. The swirling wind certainly isn't helping. A chance here perhaps. Looking for Bobby but badges get it clear. The ball's just bouncing around here at the minute. It's like a game of pinball. We need one of these teams to try and uh, get the ball on the ground. Put something together. And Jay hooks it clear. Only to Dom. Spreads the play to Will. This is nice now. Bit of football will. Can he link up with Bobby here? Nice one too. He's still going into the box. But Tom clears. And we join our eye in the sky for this. Bobby long throw. In it goes. Headed clear by his gaps of a shot too. Comes to Quinnan. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, look at that. A 450 degree spin. Which bamboozled and dispersed all enemy badges. Wizardry. Bow badges have their own chance to put a long throw into this box. In it comes. Oh, it's gone right across the face of goal. And Tom clears for Bow Bow Badges. But Josh will put it back in. It's held up in the wind. Will knocks it forward towards Bobby. Can he hold this ball up? No. It's back to the badges, but here's Will again. Surging forward. No. Badgers clean up. All the way back to their current goalkeeper, Kier. He sends it long, but the wind will take it out. It's really blowing in that diagonal direction. Hammer with the throw for Bobo Badgers. Hooked on by Dom. And it comes back to him. He's shown good composure early on in this game. And that's a great ball out to the left. It's Stu. Plays it inside towards Bobby. Can he get it onto his right here? It's blocked by a badger. And it's Will surging down the left again. He's carrying the ball into the box. Can he get a shot off here? No. Plays it back to Bobby. Tries a cheeky ball, but not quite. And here comes Aiden for Bow Badgers, their regular keeper, replacing Keir, who did a good job standing in. And I'm sure he'll be raring to get onto the pitch in a more natural position. Rory with the throw for Badgers into the mixer. Amma's got it clear and again. Stu holds up well but he's lost out there. Joe back to Rory. Dangerous ball but cut out by Gabs who fails to clear his only come to Joe. It's a very tight game so far. Neither team wants to make a mistake. And they are blocking each other out at the minute. Throwing for both badges, flicked on. But it's out of play. Uh, oh no, oh no. Bobby is down as he picked up a knock. His left boot is off. If you remember, in a previous match, Bobby had to come off when his boots disintegrated. Surely it can't be another boot malfunction. The Bobo Badgers won't want to lose their captain and talisman. Okay, he's up and he's going to carry on. And Bobby with the throw. Hooked over. The wind is really picking up. It's making everything hard to judge for the players. It's bouncing around. Comes back to Ammo as a shot. Ooh, and a funny bounce. Keeper throws it out to Joe on the right. Flicks it over the Bobo Badger, but he's lost out there. Now he's back to a Bow Badger. Tom W, aka Bacon, back to Joe. He's lost it again, and Bobby's chasing it. On his left this time, but blocked by Tom. Yet another long throw in coming from Bobby, but catches the wind. Alessandro has it on the right for Bobo Badgers. Sends it forwards towards Bobby. Oh, it still gets to him. On the volley out. It's a goal! 
What's her goal? To give Bobo Badges the lead. Well, the man they call Big Tasty made a bit of a dog's dinner of his interception there. And Bobby was on hand to ruthlessly punish him. Let's have a look at that goal from the sky. You can see the centre back Gavs does great here to win the header. And Alessandro straight away is looking for Bobby, puts the ball in. And when he gets to him, it's a lovely touch and volley on the turn. You have to salute that. Well, how will the Bow Badgers respond to going a goal down to their B team? Here's number three, Tom Quinnen. There's a touch of class about him. He's got that old school elegance to his play. But Bobo Badge is clear. But he's headed back. And here's Joe. Oh, good ball in, but Mike is there. And he'll do a big boot out. Yes, not back towards Joe, but he can't gather it. Hammer with the throw for Bobo Badgers. What's going on over there? All the balls come back. It's going to be headed back by Mesa. Oh, it's a mistake. It's Jack. It's a goal. The equaliser. Can you believe it? The big brother badges have punched back straight away. The right back Mason may be having difficulty with this wind. Doesn't get enough on the header and Jack is in there to finish nicely. The striker's instincts of Jack was ready for that potential mistake and he made no mistake with his finish. Here's a score of Jack on the ball again. Looking up. Intercepted though. Oh, maybe a handball there. It's not given. And a meaty challenge there from Joe. Guess what? It's a long throw from Bobby. Flicked on by Stu Dom is at the back post. Oh! And I think he might have taken a blow to the head there. But Bobby Badges are coming again. Bobby's on the ball. And the rest says whole play. We need to go and check on Dom. The goal was gaping, but it looks like Dom may have taken a boot to the face from left back Josh. Well, Dom is okay, but seems to be some confusion about who's going to get the drop ball. Um, in the end, Bobby says, here you go. And that's great sportsmanship from Bobby. And keep will kick it out towards Joe, but it's out of play. Amar with the throw for Bobo Badges down the line. It's bouncing around into the area. Keeper will collect. He surveys his options. Ah, not the best kick out, but Rory picks it up, sends it left towards Benj. Plays a 1 2 with care. But Gabs is across. Oh, that's a bit risky. Corner for Bo Badgers. Put into a dangerous area. Ooh. Tom still has it. Lays it back, but Bo 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 Badgers are clearing their lines. Joe puts it up in the air. It's not forward. Towards Dom. Dom's still on it out to Bobby. Bobby's put Will through. But that's an excellent tackle by number 10, Adem. And it's Bobby the long throw specialist. And he propels the ball into the box, but Bo Badge is clear. And Joe gets it clear, but it's only as far as Alpha here. Shot blocked, and it comes to Bobby again. He has to put it in, but Tom M, as ever, is in the way. And goes out of play. For yet another throw in. Oh, look at this one. But again, Bo Badges don't kick clear. Joe knocks it down the line. Towards a classy Tom Quinnan. Cuts inside nicely and he's looking for Sam, but... It's cut out by Mason, who brings it forward. Passes to Alessandro, but Joe has read that brilliantly. Lays it onto Quinnan. What can he do here? He's looking for Sam, but the wind will take that to the keeper. 
This is a good spell of pressure here for Bow Badgers. Joe has been driving him forward, going and pressurizing. This is the long grass area where you have to be careful. He's gone back to Quinnan. Leaves it for Joe. He's gone past Dom. Oh, he's pulled back shortly. Ref says no. Well. And the refs, the ball's hit the ref. What's going on? This is chaos. This is Badger Mayhem at his best. Dom tries to bring it clear, but. And now Joe's back. And Dom's got it. A long pass towards Stu. But it's cleared by Tom W. The Bacon Man. Here's Alfie. Taking the ball out towards the left, he's looking for Will, but Tom W intercepts. But only to Tom, the left back, passes back to Alfie, and BOF in his head. Tom W, aka Bacon, has given him the full six rashes to the face. Thankfully, Alfie seems okay, he'll just need a couple of seconds to gather himself. And an encouraging pat from the ref gets him back to his feet. Stu on the ball here, but Tom M clears it. Uh, look at this, here's classy Tom Quinnan. Lovely one too with Joe. Oh, he's drifting inside. This is a player from a different era. The 1930s maybe. He's just got a classic style to him. Anyway, Bow Badger's making some progress here. Shot comes in, but blocked and cleared. Bow Badger's this time with a long throw. In it comes, but headed clear. Oh. And it's out of play. Yet another throw in, which has been the main attacking weapon of this game. Oh! Did something occur in the box there? Well, I didn't see it. And the ref didn't see it. And the ref is about to blow for half time. Well, the badges have butted heads, and both have suffered mild concussion. Please enjoy some half-time vistas of the surrounding area, brought to you by Cousin Gas. What cunning strategic changes are being cooked up in these huddles? Well, it looks like number 23 has come on for Bo Badgers, Alistair, as well as number 12, David. Augusto kicks off and he's just come on for the B -b -b Badgers. Bobby has gone off, but it is Roland Sub, so I'm sure we'll see him again in this second half. And I believe Sergio and Franklin have come on on the wings for B -b -b Badgers. Balls up in the air and Jay donks it forward. It's passed over to Alistair. What can he do here? Drifts inside. Passes to Adam, but Gabs is there. Rory collects, gives it back to Alistair, he keeps control of it but Augusto pinches the ball there, sends it out to the left to Sergio, what can he do here, he's looking at his options, puts it in the box and it's cleared by Big Tasty, here's Sergio with the corner, he get ahead on it but wide, throw in for the bow badgers, booted high into these swirling winds, Emma comes out to deal with it, but Rory pounces and he's taken out there by Dom. It'll be Keir with the free kick. Puts it to a dangerous zone there. Oh, what a chance. Oh, a huge chance there for Bo Badges to take the lead. Excellent ball by Keir. Tom M got the first touch and then Rory at the back post just couldn't keep it under the bar. Mike with the goal kick. Held up no and Tommy Quinlan's had an effort there, wow! That would have been something. With Bobby off his Amar on long throw duty. Can't quite get the same distance and Bo Badgers get it clear to Quinnan. Keir's making a run forward, oh he nearly got it through to him there. Ball is played down the channel and Augusto will get on it. He's got support from Sergio, finds him. And now Franklin picks it up, finds Stu, this is better football here from B -B -B Badges, and it's back to Franklin, can he get it across? 
the Bullocks. Ammo still on long throw duty. And it comes. But Rory's there. He's doing some great work for Bow Badges. Finds Kier, who looks off for Tom Quinn, and oh, that's a, an impressive boot up the pitch. But it's well defended there by Tom coming across. Kier with the throw. Headed up by Emma. Tom and Adam contesting for it. Ref gives a foul. In a dangerous position. And will it be Adam or. Oh, Tom Quinnen is Tom Quinnen, but it's into the wall. And it's Adam with the. Well, whatever that was. Mason with the throw over Bubba Bubba Badgers. Headed on by Gabs. Where is it? Oh, Kier's got Kier's onto it. Chance here for Rory! Oh! No disrespect to the bow badges or the bow bow badges, but it's not been the best display of shooting prowess. Tom sends it forward. Oh, that's a nice pass there by Alistair. And Kier gives it back. That's brilliant play. Chance here. Oh, is that a pass though? Penge is onto it on the right. But it is well defended. Throw. Donk. Throw. Bosch. Donk. Bosch. Donk. Oh, that's nice from Tom Quinnen. Great ball. To Keir down the left. He searched into the box, but Gabs is there again. Sergio with the throw towards Augusto comes back to Sergio. Oh, that's a dangerous ball towards Stu. Oh. And it's that man Rory again. With a vital header. Substitutions about to be made here. And this is Alex. Who's he coming up for? Oh, he came on without his bib. He was going to play for the Bow Badgers. And they had to tell him, You're a bo -bo -bo Badger. Put your bo -bo -bo bib on. It can be tough putting on a bib in these gusty conditions. And here comes Bobby. Bobby's back on the pitch. The captain. The talisman. And straight away he's ready to do something he does very well. A long throw. And in it comes. It's another excellent one towards Augusto. Heads it on. Comes back to Augusto on his left. Oh, where's that going? That's not even going to leave the pitch. Ball bouncing around. Bobby flicks it on towards Augusto, but Jay is there. And David heads it out. And Alex will take the throw. Oh, no, no. Bobby's pulling rank here. He's saying, listen, Alex, I do the throws around here. And as ever, it is hurled impressively into the throng. But it's boffed clear. And oh, it's come back to Bobby. Oh, he's tried something there. Oof. Keeper had to be alert for that one. And yet another throw for Bobby. Down the line to Augusto Chesse. Oh, he's done lovely there. Oh, that's another one for our blooper reel of shots today. Still a very finely poised match. This game could turn on just a moment of genius. A touch of quality. And here's Stu taking it forward. Oh, that's a lovely ball through to... Sergio Bar, offside. The ref has had a pretty good game today so far. He has risen to the occasion. He's buffed forward by Gabs. Dealt with by Tom M. Rory there, competing with Dom in that midfield. Dom's won it back. Oh, and that's nice. Out to Sergio on the left. He's looking for his teammates. And he finds Augusto nice into play. Oh, he's got through Tom M there. Oh, that's a goal! Oh, it's the substitute, Augusto, with a brilliant goal to Bobo Badgers. 2 1 up. He has looked dangerous since he came on, and here dribbles his way through the legs of the Bobo Badgers centre back and then quickly fires off a vicious shot. Well, can the bow badges respond as quickly as they did last time? 
hears Tom knocking it forward, but another Tom donks it up into the air. Augusto keeps it up there. Sergio, good strength there, is holding up the ball well, but his tackle comes back to Tom. Stu undercooks it a bit and Quinnan sends it out to the right and uh, someone's having a trouble with their tent over there in this wind and Sergio is surging forwards as a shot but the keeper will deal with that he's got to be careful though in this long grass area that he doesn't get his foot tangled up plays it short oh Alex chance here but he's used his hand it's a corner for ball badgers oh it looks dangerous but it's just the wrong side of the crossbar and Augusto's on it again, looking so dangerous, surging forward. Can he get a shot off here? Oh, there's another good tackle there from Rory. Here's Alex. Oh, and that's uh, another one for the blooper reel. Benji's trying to get his team going. They're still in this match. Well, first they will have to defend yet another long bobby throw. And it comes. Out it goes. This really is the game of a thousand throw-ins. It's extraordinary. It's gonna be Bobby with the long throw. That's a big one. Good header by Rory, but they still have it here, Sergio. Bench on the left for Bo Badgers. Puts in a oh, he's swiped up and he has a dangerous one. No, oh, it hits the bar to the Bob Badgers relief. Let's see that again. In these conditions, the wind can make you look silly or it can make extraordinary things happen, like it almost did here. Yes, our corner for Bo Badgers there, really fighting back now. Kier with the corner to the back post. On the volley from Quinnan, all the way back to Kier. And, well, sadly, I have to report another vicious attack on my GoPro. Brutal and unprovoked. Investigations are ongoing, but I believe the perpetrator may have unwittingly revealed himself. So keep an eye out for him. Here's Benj for Bo Badgers. But he's tackled by Alex there. Oh, the ref's given a free kick. Bo 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 Badgers are up in arms. They are not happy with that decision. And it's given the Bo Badgers a free kick in a very dangerous position. <laughs> well, here's the VAR check, and well, from this angle, looks like a fair challenge. Nevertheless, it'll be Adam with the free kick for Ball Badgers. Oh, he's hit the bar. Ball still in play, just forget. Oh, up in the air. And Mike gets it out for a corner. Wow, so close to an equalizer. Just keep an eye on Gabriel here, aka Gabs, for Ball Badgers. He realises there's an issue, gets back in position and makes a vital, vital block. He's having an excellent game. He reminds me a bit of the great Italian defender, Franco Baresi. It'll be Quinnan with the corner. Augusto defends. And it'll be another corner. How long can Bob Bob Badgers withstand this onslaught of pressure? And it comes, it's Jay with it. Oh, he's hit the bar. It's all starting to happen here late on. A great corner there from Quinnan. And Jay came so close with that header, which leaves everyone's head in their hands. He'll be here with the long throw, launches it in. Amar and Gabs deal with it. Augusto out to Don, but Kier's won that, and he's still got it. Tries to thread it through. Well, here comes Kier charging through like a bull. Oh, it comes through to Jay and Benj falls to his knees. Time is running out for Bo Badgers, but they feel like they're just on the edge of an equalizer. Mike with the big boots. Out towards Bobby, but who's this? Number zero, that's Mike. When did he sneak on? He finds Dave who gets it across, but Dom will pick it up here. He's looking for Sergio. Sergio's in here, one on one, it's a goal! And surely that's it. The celebrations are in full swing.
the shirt is off, he might get a yellow card for that, but he won't mind because he's just scored a goal that will go down in Bo Badger, Bo 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 Badger history. It was Dom in midfield showing that composure again to find Sergio who lets the ball run across him so he can break the line and then calmly slot the ball between the keeper's legs. Let's see that again from the sky. Maybe Bo Badgers were tiring a bit after their effort to get the equaliser. And the Bo 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 Badgers bounced. The atmosphere is electric here in the dying stages of this match. The Bo 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 Badgers brigade of fans are jumping for joy. It will be Mike with the goal kick. Bo Badgers with another wayward attempt. And the ref's seen enough. It's all over. Bobo -bo Badgers are the winners of this historic Battle of the Badgers. Great sportsmanship being shown here. No bitterness, just brotherly bonhomie. Underneath those bibs, they are all one stripy badger family from Bo. Okay, here we are after the Battle of the Badgers. I'm here with uh, Benj from Bo. Bobby from Bobo. Bobby from Bobo -Bo Badgers. Well, <laughs> can I get your immediate uh, response to that match, um, Ben? Yeah, I'm sure you're going to get two different uh, responses. We were confident, to be fair, you know, preparation. We've had a really good few games. Um, we've been in quite good form and we did actually think, you know, we were the stronger team. Um, we know they've got some really good quality players, but... I thought they fall, they turn on each other a lot. I thought there'll be periods in the game. It was unfortunately it was really windy conditions. Both teams couldn't really play as much football as we'd like. Um, I'm going to call some of my players out. I'm going to call my team out. I expected more commitment. You know, we could have been more prepared. I wanted them there earlier to warm up. We had five, six players warming up, so maybe it's a discipline issue. I'm going to be taking action moving mm. forward. Your goalie wasn't there at the beginning either. Was it? Exactly, late <laughs> night. You know, I know these guys all had an early morning, um, yeah. an early night last night. Um, my players want to question some commitment to the team. Um, Great. Yeah, sort of echo what Ben just saying. I mean, yeah, the win didn't really help both teams in terms of how we wanted to play, but I thought, yeah, they had their moments. Obviously, we had our moments, but I think overall, I think it was a really decent game. And I think, obviously, us and obviously first team, I mean, we've got to be proud of ourselves, if I'm being truthfully honest, because I mean, yeah, no one thought this was going to happen. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is, man. But. I heard suggestions maybe that bow badgers have been avoiding this fixture. Is there any truth to that? Yes. I'll tell you what, we don't avoid this fixture. In pre-season, we're going to have another one, and I can tell you now it's not going to be a pre-season friendly. Um, yeah. We will be setting that up. Look, the team, Bebo have some real good quality. They scored a great goals through Bobby, Augusto, Sergio on the break, but we hit the bar twice in the last few minutes. I thought, I thought we were going to get into penalty shootout and, you know, it would have been great footage for your channel. Um, it's, I'll tell you what, I've played with Bobby for a long time and it's the most I've ever seen him running a game because usually this man, yeah, he'll score actually, a few good goals yeah. but he won't cover ground, but this man was running today. It's, you know, it's, it's, awesome. as, it's as I said to Benj and as I said to you, I said, this is the one game I don't want to lose. I said it's simple as that. So yeah. if I have to do more running, I have to do more running. Simple as that. And I, as I Ben said, I think I did a lot more running than I normally do. So it had to be done. I'm dreading this now because I'm going to have to look through your 70, 80, 90 YouTube comments. Yeah. Of, Bill Bo lost, Bebo won. I'm going to have to go through those. Yeah. I've never been trolled before and I'm probably going to get trolled. So fair play. And Bobby, so do you think uh, Bobo Badgers have made a definitive claim now to be the better Badger team? I believe so. <laughs> I, I, I thought it even before this game even happened. To be honest. <laughs> I just think we have the better players. And I think, as Ben said, if we can manage to sort it out in pre-season, I, I think it'll be a, little more, a lot more. And what do you think? I mean, obviously, Bo Badgers, you're in a bit of a relegation battle. Next season, you could end up in the same division as Bo Bobo Badgers. Uh, is that a prospect that alarms you? No, I think, yeah, I mean, yeah, we've got a few really big games, Fish Island and Millfields to come, obviously relegation. Delta got a good result, so we, you know, we're in a relegation battle. 
the league, I think they were scared that if we got relegated, there could be an element of helping each other out. But I think on the YouTube video yeah, today, you that, can that see that happen. that is not going to no. happen. <laughs> if um, anything, it's the opposite. Yeah, literally. I, You're going to raise your game for each other. We've been in Div 3 for a long time. We were that kind of just survival. I think we'd, we'd like a year in Div 4, maybe. I know. I think we would like it. And it'd be good to play you guys twice. Um, you know if I'm being truthfully honest, I think Div 4... I think because I think the teams that are in Div 3 right now, obviously most of the teams are really good. So you've got Limeore, Limeore. you've got um, CSM, 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 yeah, Millfield, certain teams like that which are good. But I think, me personally, I think if they moved into Div 4, I think they'll be one of the top I think I think I'd love to see that. I think Sunday League Strolls would love to see that. I'm tempted, if, if you do end up in Division 4 together, to start a third Badger team. A third Badger and, uh, team? And we'll just have a... Uh, it would just be a complete badge of bloodbath in Division 4. <laughs> you mean half the time both of us struggle to get a full yeah, 11 yeah, out yeah, sometimes, yeah, so yeah, I don't know how we're going to find another 15, 16 players for that, but maybe. Well, we'd like to say well done to both teams. I wish you good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks for and, covering um, the game. Uh, it's, no, it's been pleasure. a pleasure. Thank you. Well Look forward done. to the photos. Well done, guys. And uh, the viewers will appreciate yeah. that. Well, there you go. It's been a gusty but wonderful occasion. Another classic Sunday of football, down on the marshes. There is an Easter break in the action next week, but we will be back soon to witness these League and Cup competitions heading towards their climaxes. And shout out to Sunday League Strolls viewers Stuart and Simon who came down to spectate. Thanks for watching everybody, take care. And now it's time for the classified football results. Premier Division Navarino 1, Badu FC 4. UK Moldova 1, FC Neva 1st 6. Well, Badu go top there with that win. One point ahead of Hackney Borough. And with games in hand for FC Neva 1st and Boundary Estate, this title running is sizzling hot. Division 1 Mandizi 1. Atletico Dog Free Zone, 2. Atletico DF said go back to second place with that point, but Clapton and Mandizi both have plenty of games in hand on them. Division 2. Gladstone Wanderers, 1. The Wenlock, 5. HNL All Stars vs Flamengo was ruled away win. Limited Pros vs FC Carpati was ruled away win. Stone New into Youth, 1. Docklands, 3. Docklin stretched their lead at the top, but they still have to face Keys Athletic before the end of the season, which could be a title decider. Division 3. Fish Island 3. Sunday FC 2. Another win for Fish Island solidifies them in 4th place. Division 4. East London 1. Birkbeck Orient 3. Despite that loss, East London will still retain hope that they can catch gorillas in the race to not be Hackney and Leighton League's bottom club. Albert Daniels Cup quarter final. FC Dynaster 0, Boundary Estate 1. Halle China 1, City East FC 2. Hackney and Leighton Junior Cup first round. Bo Badgers 1, Bo 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 Badgers 3. FC Wood Green 1, South London Sharks 6. London Jaguars 2. CSM London 2, 1 Millfields 5, North London Kaisers 2 Jack Morgan Cup 1st Round Limor Gardens 3, Boca Albion 1 Jack Walpole Cup 2nd Round Community Road 1, Delta Athletic 3 Wow, there you go The only thing left to do is to just flop to the ground and sink ever deeper into a peaceful state.